Hey everybody, my name is Phil. I'm Erica. And today we're watching The Chosen, Season 2, Episode 6. Let's dive in. Himalek. That'd be a thought. Go home. Tell your mother I sent you and that everything's going to be fine. Whoa. <laughs> Listen, I are you alone. Where is your protection? The king has sent me on a mission. My understanding, you and the king are not on friendly terms. This is David? Something is going to come through you. I can feel it. Something bigger, more exciting. I don't know what. There was nothing bigger or more exciting than that giant. We'll see. Man, that was just like the beginning for him. Yeah. David was like... How big do you think uh, Goliath was? Right. I think like eight feet. Eight, yeah, eight nine feet. We could Google this. Mm -hmm. Wait, what? Where are they sleeping in? Oh, oh they couldn't find. Yeah. And what the heck am I doing here right now? <laughs> <laughs> Come on, God. We split up today. We'll be able to cover more ground. We're not splitting up. It would be more logical. Jesus wants you back in one piece. You said there was breakfast? No. I asked if you were hungry. Because <laughs> I too am hungry. Do you know how to make eggs? Dead. No. <laughs> Are you hungry? Could you make us food? Put the eggs in the water. Oh. While you make eggs however you like them, you can also devise our plan for the day. It's me. I checked the synagogue. The officials said they hadn't seen her. How did you describe her? How would you? She's got black hair. Long black hair. Oh, well, all our women have long Sometimes she can't even cover it all. She might be inconsolable or distressed. Anything else? Attention to detail. Unusually pleasant to look at. Hey. Just another night of the nomad. Oh, nomad? I can't believe I made it up the stairs. Dionysus carried me. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hey. Pause off, rat. Jeez. Anyway, where were we? That did oh, yeah, seem pretty aggressive, though. Mary to the official. What did he say about the stairs? But. Your son is my son is a homeless nomad who no longer brings in income for carpentry. Oh, true. So I go with him. <laughs> you're smiling about it. I'm smiling because he is doing what he was born to do. At least his time has come. If his time has come, why doesn't he just bring Mary back? It doesn't work that way. And how does it work? Sometimes he is as much a mystery to me as he is to you. Hmm. That's so fair how Rim is oh, asking. Betty. Hmm. He's God. Why can't he just do this? Nothing good can come from Mary disappearing like this. Hmm. Do you know that? Hmm. Hmm. She was already upset about something, even before the possessed man came into camp. Okay. She could be dead or dying hmm. in a ditch somewhere. Why would Jesus use her pain to unite two men who are annoyed by each mm. other? We do not know that she is in danger. She's a woman alone. Some trust in chariots and some in horses. But we trust in the name Adonai, our God. Nine for sure. Oh, she's again. Yeah. Nine is too much. How did you get the first one, woman? Hmm? Mm. What did you do for it? Wouldn't you like to know? Hey, are we going to play or what? Get on with it. We're not playing the arts, son. Hmm. Hey, you can't do that. Give me a chance to win my money back. My money back. Yeah, when? Now. I see. A woman should know her place. Suppose you're going to show me? Oh. 
What do we do mm. when we are scared? We say the words. We say the words. <laughs> Nineteen servings. And there's fifteen of us? Fourteen. If Philip doesn't make it back to us. That's true. And eleven if Matthew and Simon don't find Mary. It's only a day's walk to Jerusalem. If Philip, Matthew, Simon and Mary don't come back, we can split the remaining eight servings, but someone would still be left out. We don't even have half a bait of, of flour or yeast. Hey man, Mary might find berries. He can make people walk. He can heal lepers. Hmm. Why can't he make food appear out of thin air? He just keeps doubting. When I was with John, sometimes we would go for days without food. It doesn't sound like much of a planner. We never thought about it. Mm. John doesn't believe in money. Doesn't believe in it? Are, are you seeing this? He says it's a man-made construct designed to assign value and take ownership of things that belong to God. I once thought about joining the Zealots. But you never told me that. You never asked. So, it's a very specific <laughs> question. I know. This very thing. We have enough rules from Torah to follow as it is. 613. Oh, 613. 613 rules. Add a bunch of body exercises to that each morning? They have to be in prime shape, you know? Mm, to kill people. Yes. I'm more worried about Simon than him. <laughs> and we've had our moments too. Ah, yeah, sons of thunder. Hey, <laughs> what is Ima going to think? <laughs> I don't know, maybe she'll be glad we got the title. <laughs> I wonder how Mary's doing. I just don't understand why Jesus would pair up Simon and Matthew <laughs> to go and find her. Matthew! I actually don't understand most of this. Just pieces here and there when good things happen, but the rest, hmm. I'm just following. That's so real. I have a sinking feeling. It's going to take a long time to understand. <laughs> For us? Everyone. For everyone. Excuse me! Well, Have you seen a woman with long, dark hair? She, she may be distraught. <laughs> I've seen her. It sounds like Lilith. That witch. Took me for everything I have at Knuckle Bones. What's Mary? You know where she is now? Did she get her money? Who knows? Mary can obviously take care of herself. You can't. What if you were cut off from Jesus by something in your past? Wouldn't you want help getting back to him as soon as possible? We split up. North, east. South, west. Huh? I go north. Boys? <laughs> <laughs> Can you walk? I'm not going anywhere. We have to go back. No, I can't. Come on, Mary. He told us to come for No. You. <laughs> no. He already fixed me once. I can't face him. I'm a bad person, Mary. My whole life, all for me. I do have faith in him. Just not in me. I'm learning more about Torah and God because of you. Mm. I'm studying harder because you are such a great student. <laughs> Jump in here. Rem remember when we were at Zebedee's and they lowered that man after breaking Zeb's roof? <laughs> <laughs> we did that together and they got to meet Jesus because of your mm -hmm. care for them and your good ideas. <laughs> it's all right. It's all right. <laughs> If Shabbat violations are not worthy of Shimon's time, what is? Of 613 commandments. 
There are some which, when pitted against one another under certain circumstances, create pain for our people who are already suffering. But how many witnesses is required to judiciously establish a fact? Hmm. Hmm? Two. And if a husband dies and his wife is the only one to witness his death, what does it make her? A widow, an aguna, an abandoned woman because there was not a second witness to his death. Really? And hmm. if she remarries, it makes her an adulterer. Wow. Well, wow. Can you not see the cruelty of that? Hmm. These are the laws that Shimon, like his father Hillel, is seeking to reform. Wow. I was hoping to create more chaos by working through Shimon, but perhaps Shammai will respond to our stories with such fury. Yeah. They're the ones that you want. Better anyway. But what if he finds out we saw President Shimon first? Not what if. Hmm. We spell it out for him. Shammai and Shimon are philosophical rivals. Hmm. Here we have a matter of law that President Shimon doesn't have time for. It's a perfect issue for Shammai. <laughs> Shimon will have no That's explanation as to why he didn't take this seriously. I didn't know there was so much detail that goes in that went into <laughs> Admin. getting people to take a second look at Jesus. I thought it was like very like, oh, he did this. Hmm. It's blasphemy and done. John the Baptizer was taken into custody. In the Herod's most heavily blockaded prison. High security. I guess it was pretty bad. They were rough. They hurt him. Where is he? In his tent. Should I wait? No. I will take it to him. It's not you. There's quite a lot going on right now. Mm. So it's good to have you back. I don't know what to say. I don't require much. Mm -hmm. I'm so ashamed. You redeemed me and I just threw it all away. Well, that's not much of a redemption if it can be lost in a day, is it? <laughs> I just don't think I can do it. Do what? Live up to it. Hmm. Repay you? How could I leave? How could I go back to the place I was? And I didn't even... I didn't even come back on my own. <laughs> I just can't live up to it. <laughs> well, that's true. <laughs> but you don't have to. I just want your heart. Wow. The father just wants your heart. Give us that, which you Give already us. have. And the rest will come in time. Did you really think that you'd never struggle or sin again? I know how painful that moment was for you. I shouldn't. Someday. But not here. Wow. Well, I'm just so sorry. Look up. <laughs> I can't. You can. Look at me. I forgive you. <laughs> it's over. Okay. Jesus. You would never see him again. You can break him out. <laughs> this guy. Very simple. I know some people. The Zealots against Herod's army. That's a fight I'd pay to see. You're not a part of that order anymore. You're mm. a part of this one. We shouldn't limit our options, is my point. Now isn't the time for that. I'm afraid the situation is worse than you know. What could be worse? I recognize there is a lot happening, and right now may not be a good time. What is it? We only have lentils left to eat oh, for tonight's Shabbat dinner, and after that we are completely out of food. Nothing left? No. 
I'm so sorry, Rabbi. Seems like something we should seek my father about. Pray? <laughs> it is almost Shabbat after all. I know of a synagogue nearby. The nearest settlement is Wadi Kelt, and I don't think they give out free meals. Tell everyone we head out in the morning. Have you been to the synagogue, Rabbi? No, I have not, sir. Why this synagogue, Rabbi? It's not on any of our maps. It grieves me that Mary was not welcomed to the synagogue in Jericho when she first arrived in distress. Mm. Mm. They turned her away? She didn't mention it. Come on, she's a woman. She didn't expect their help, but she needed it. No Ammonite or Moabite may enter the assembly of the Lord. Even to the tenth generation, none of them may enter the assembly, the assembly. of the Lord forever. Shalom. Even to the tenth generation, none of them may enter the assembly of the Lord forever. May I, may I see? Excuse me, what are you doing? Your friend Ilam has a withered hand. Are you a healer? It is not lawful to heal on Sabbath. Which one of you who has a sheep and it falls into a pit on the Sabbath will not take hold of it and lift it out? Who are you to speak to our congregation in such a of way? How much more value? Is this man than a shop this at once? Is it lawful on Sabbath to do good or to do harm? To save life? Let's have food. It out. <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! If he was supposed to be healed, God would have done it himself! Interesting point. Yeah. <laughs> Get out! Gladly. He seems like a very, like... He just went there to make a point. He is starting to... Are they going to send the town guards after us? I think those guys are the town guards. <laughs> Alright, so for those of you who didn't see, first he interrupted the reading simply by standing next to this guy with a paralyzed hand. <laughs> the, the priest. Oh, because you're eating? What? Reaping or harvesting on Shabbat. Oh, yes. I'm sorry, I've been so hungry, I forgot what day it is. Let's all feast! <laughs> you may. <laughs> He's like, yes. Everyone's starving. You have made a mockery of our little synagogue and of Torah. You will tell us your name, your lineage, your... Virtue, and now your disciples are doing what is not lawful to do on the Sabbath. Have you not read what David did mm -hmm. when he was in need and was hungry? He entered the house of God in the time of Ahimelech, the priest, mm -hmm. and ate the bread of the presence, which was not lawful for him to eat, mm -hmm. but only for the priests. You would compare yourself to David. It was an emergency. Or have you not read in the law how on Shabbat the priests in the temple profane the Sabbath, but are given mm -hmm. for Levites? Listen carefully. Something greater than the temple is here. And if you had known what this means, I desire mercy, mm. not sacrifice. He you always condemned the guiltless. Mm -hmm. Yeah. He always references that. Sabbath was made for man, not man for the Sabbath. So, the Son of Man, his Lord, even of the Sabbath. Oh. Son of man. He's like, he said the thing. Let's go. Now he's like really making it known. Yeah. I knew he was like aggressive with the, the Pharisees. Or like, the people. Why? Tell you later. Tell me now. <laughs> We're walking for like an hour. <laughs> Who would have dreamed someone 
claiming to be the son of man. The one who approaches the ancient of days. And lord of the Sabbath. Walking into her tiny scene. <laughs> He's actually a myth. What he killed? Jerusalem. David, Goliath. Maybe there is hope for the little. Hmm. The overlooked. Whoa. Wait, so... Where David? Or happen? maybe they write it off. But they had a moment right there, right? Mm. <laughs> All we can do is fulfill our duty to report the facts. And pray. Hmm. For what? Justice. Justice. Oh. <laughs> oh. oh. What's it? That was really short. I swear. Whoa. Okay. Okay. This is my favorite. This is my favorite. This is one that you're looking forward to? Yeah. Okay. Well, I forgot that they split uh, Mary Magdalene's story into two episodes. I thought it was one. Why Why was this your favorite? Because of how she came to God and she was so ashamed. Like, she already... Oh, okay. Um, she, she... she was already redeemed and then she went back to her old ways and she came back and just mm-hmm. that whole scene was just so relatable. You can't do that. In my life, <laughs> multiple times where I feel like... Yeah, I've gone to God like that so many times. Mm. And at the beginning, that's how it was for me, too. Like, I couldn't I couldn't face him anymore. I didn't want to go to church. And the only reason why I would go to church is because my family would make me Others go to church. Others bring you back. And, yeah, exactly. And it was always amazing to me that, like, I... Well, obviously God. But through me, my family is the one that got saved mm-hmm, and started going mm-hmm. to church and then when i started falling away they, they were bringing me to church it was like i was like oh that is so strategic god <laughs> like whenever <laughs> like i remember thinking that i was like wow the people who like persecuted me in my own home about going to church are the ones bringing me now when i didn't want to go mm-hmm. um but yeah just that whole thing and like yeah backsliding and yeah Mary did, so yeah. Mary did a really great job of like acting, like just just kind of showing shame, mm. and like how like she like did not want to look at yeah. Jesus. Yeah, she couldn't bring herself to to do it, and it was yeah. just like so much effort. That is so accurate. Yeah, that is so. That was really accurate. well done. I love I love um, the the intentionality behind making sure that she sees him say that I forgive you. Mm-hmm. Like that, it's like there's no doubt. Like I'm telling you, I'm speaking directly to you. You were forgiven. Mm-hmm. Um, so that was really great. But yeah, no, I can see why that's that's impactful for you. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, I mean, it speaks to so many people's stories, right? And I think she <laughs> she spoke about it when they found her, and she was like, "Like he fixed me once. Why would I go back? Like I can't, I can't do it." Mm-hmm. And Maybe there is a bit of a, I don't know, I, I don't know if that if that's ever really emphasized when people are saved, that's like, it's going to be tough <laughs> regardless, and it's not going to be perfect, you're not going to be sinless forever. Mm-hmm. Yeah, um, even when Jesus was like, did you really think you were going <laughs> to... One day, not now. Not, like, not even and now not when here. you're in the presence of me. <laughs> yeah. Like, not even here. Yeah. Even the points that um, um, Simon and Matthew made to her. Uh-huh. Like, all she could think about was her sin and her shame and going back to that life. But what, um, but what Simon and Matthew saw was the impact she was making, like, how she was a light to other people. And that was the point of why Jesus saved her in the first place mm-hmm. i mean like obviously to change her heart and and all that too but like look at the impact she's already making on other people and like that is so like that's discipleship yeah right there it's mm-hmm. like you know god so that you can be a light to others and teach other people about god too and so she's like just making that point that like she's already i don't know like fulfilling what um jesus wanted for her and because she was redeemed like people other people's lives are forever changed now Mm. um but yeah just that that 
yeah, just to remind her that that point shouldn't be overlooked, even though, you know, she went back to this life. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, and it was obvious, like, her heart was still with Jesus. And he knew. He was like, yeah, you've already done that yeah. part. Like, her heart already changed. Because you could see that even when she was gambling, like, mm. she was still trying to, like, she was still thinking about Jesus. She was still... Um, thinking about that verse and With you could dad. tell there's like yeah. some regret already as she went back into that life yeah um yeah yeah makes sense why do you think do you think that was there clarity as to why he sent simon and matthew i think it was just because they just they're so different and it was like a good learning opportunity and you can see it too like in simon how he was learning about Matthew. Mm. And you can kind of see the the gears starting to turn, like, oh, like, he's just, like, learning more about him. Mm. Yeah, I guess. I was actually just thinking about the, um, when they were calling to, to Mary, the, the thing that they were a part of. Obviously, Matthew, he's, like, firsthand, he sees that impact, and he's been impacted by her, so he can speak to that. Mm-hmm. When they were, well, when they were at uh, Zebedee's house. It was Simon calling out to to Mary, so like he knew that story as well. So maybe that's mm. part of it as well. Like, yeah, they had the first hand experience to to speak to her, right? Uh, and speak those experiences more than anybody else, mm-hmm. maybe. Yeah, true. Mm-hmm. Um, okay. What else happened? I guess Jesus is kind of going. Jesus is uh, causing a ruckus. Yeah, out like, here I, now. I feel like. There, even even in the Bible, in the stories in the Bible, you could tell that there was always, like, tension whenever he spoke to, um, you know, the Pharisees or... Any or, religious leader. Yeah, any religious leader. Um, I think they capture it really well here. It's like, he's aggressive when he, he mm-hmm. kind of does it. And, like, he knows that he's, you know, like, he's showing them up and it's kind of obvious and he's doing it with purpose, but... This is more of what it looked like. In mm. your heads than before. Yeah, 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 for sure. And I think, I don't know, you, with all of these storylines and angry people converging, you can really feel the tension more so than I ever could reading, um, reading mm-hmm. the Bible of like, really? like how upset people were, and how in the Bible I always read it, and like it to me like it escalated to a point where we need to kill him. So, so fast. <laughs> and I'm like, what happened? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, like, I get, there, like, like not, maybe I don't fully get, but, like, sure, like, you're breaking laws and tradition, but, like, you got there so quick. Yeah, and obviously it's truncated. It's and yeah, yeah, yeah. But, yeah, like, here, like, you, you see, like, the amount of anger, how deeply um, this runs with people, the political aspect of it, all the lines communicating. Mm-hmm. And, like, I, with each day that passes, like, I feel feel like the tensions are ratcheting up and that like every time that he does one of these things it's like it accelerates it so much because that's another group now like mm. another group is like like filing complaints to the Sanhedrin to the point where like they can't ignore this right and it's getting to this I don't know so it's this is doing a really good job kind of under helping me understand that a little bit more in a more realistic sense given more context yeah yeah yeah. it just helps the story or it helps um i I don't know i'm trying to say it just brings more history and context to Mm -hmm. the whole like idea like we thought it was so simple yeah how jesus went from like making a ruckus to getting crucified Mm -hmm. but it was like oh there's actually all this and I feel like stuff that could be happening in the background yeah and I feel like that context is written with a certain reader in mind like of the bible because like 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 pastors and people who preach do this all the time where they give you that added context or like Mm -hmm. if you were of this time you would understand this reference and it would mean so much to you yeah yeah right and I think they're kind of doing exactly that but through um through dialogue and through through like you know this show yeah yeah. so i think like that added context where it's like you know jesus can tell a parable and to us it's like okay we can like dissect it but to the people in that audience like it meant so much because of 
you know, I'm a shepherd and this means it. Like, mm-hmm. like all those kinds of things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, yeah, maybe that's why that's this is a bit more helpful to me. It's just a different type of learner <laughs> and just context yeah. that yeah. you wouldn't really understand unless you really studied. Mm-hmm. So. Yeah, for sure. I'm, like, surprised it took this long to get a show like this. It must be hard to do, though. Like, yeah. especially, especially because of how heavily scrutinized it must be. Mm-hmm. Right? Like, this is something that people are really passionate about. And if you're going to go out and be creative with it, there's going to be a lot of opinions about it. So it must be a tough sell. That's, like, they didn't have, sure. like, major studios behind this, right? It was, like, independent. Mm-hmm. Like, that, like, it would be hard to sell this to a studio. Yeah, yeah, true. So, yeah, for sure. I, I, I get that. Um, uh, what else was there? They're hungry. They're eating. Oh, yeah, that part. Um, obviously, John, uh, the baptizer. Mm. captured he gone yeah he gone gone so Man, that's so tough on andrew and she was like really close to him well, andrew seemed... philip yeah, yeah, yeah so there's a lot going on like tons going on right now mm-hmm. and it's just kind of it's moving very very quickly yeah do you think um like jesus finally starting to um I don't know, show more of himself to others or causing more trouble had anything to do with uh, John. Yeah, his conversation with John. Because John was like, he was when is it going to happen? And now he knows that John might not. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe it was Maybe. part of the timing. Yeah, like, I, like for me, I feel like I'm, I'm deferring to that Like everything is happening at a certain time and um, I'm just kind of leaving it at that. Mm. but maybe because like obviously it, it impacted him mm-hmm. like emotionally um so i don't know mm-hmm. yeah i i i feel like this just might have been the time to do it yeah right. yeah so i feel like the next few episodes are really gonna i mean i know i've seen this before but i forgot obviously <laughs> you only saw up to the end of season two yeah so none of season seen... three no nope. <laughs> what <laughs> what <laughs> gonna be new um yeah okay yeah. cool um yeah no really good episode um lots more to uncover including i still need to meet judas i, I have no idea how mm. he comes into the group mm-hmm. so it'll be interesting because i mean he's the key <laughs> yeah. yeah okay uh we'll wrap this one up hopefully you had a good time watching with us uh continue to watch with us we'll be dropping them once a week So we will see you for the next one. Peace. Bye.